Now, earlier this month, Governor Kathy Hochul's state budget included a plan to cut down the gas tax on a statewide level, and she encouraged individual counties to do the same. Well, tonight, one western New York county has done just that. To your side's Liz Lewin has all the details. We believe that we can provide the relief that the legislature has asked for, for our consumers and for our residents, and without without impacting the budget. There's no denying it. Generally speaking, these high gas prices are stressful. Just ask Eric Schwab, a Niagara County resident who spends a good chunk of his time behind the wheel delivering for DoorDash. Honestly, I haven't filled a full tank in like a month and a half. I generally put in about um, 15 to 20 dollars a day for door dashing that usually gets me up to about 150 to 200 miles. And while Western New York is starting to see a slow drop in prices at the pump, lawmakers in Niagara County say they recognize the need to do even more, especially after the state challenged counties to find a way to ease the growing financial burden of those rising gas prices. Today, legislators gathered for a special meeting and unanimously voted to cap the sales tax on gas at $3 per gallon beginning June 1st. We're very comfortable with the budgeting that we did last fall. Uh, our numbers are coming in uh, pretty close to what we projected. So with that as a backdrop, we decided to look at gas taxes. Here's the county's budget director, Dan Huntington, explaining how he came to this recommendation. I looked at um, gas at its current level, which is about $4.25 or $4.50, and looked at how much sales tax um, the consumer would save if you know we capped it at three dollars and that would be about for the for the rest of the year it would be about two million dollars that um, it would be a savings to the consumer or it would be a two million dollar um, drop in sales tax for the county. The state budget gives counties including Niagara the option to cap their sales tax on gas at either two three or four dollars a gallon. Right now the sales tax is four percent. Niagara County Legislator Minority Leader Chris Robbins says he supports this plan, but wants close monitoring to ensure reductions will turn into savings consumers can actually see. June 1st, let's look. Let's see if Chris Robbins was right. Did, did the gas prices go down? Did that person that went and bought gas that morning see 20 cents a gallon cheaper? And I guess that is going to be the, the real teller at that time. People need any relief that they can get. I hope it stays. Scott and Mary Alice reactions to tonight's vote are already pouring in. New York State Senate Republican leader Rob Ort applauded Niagara County's decision, saying, quote, now residents will have the state reduction as well as a county tax cap to keep their wallets. This is a step in the right direction, and my colleagues and I will continue to fight in Albany for more tax relief throughout the rest of this year's legislative session. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.